Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you some of my most complimented layering combinations. Y'all, we are layering oils and fragrances and body creams to get the best results ever. Some of these combinations are to intensify the scent and help them to last longer. Some of these combinations just smell fire together, okay? So if you're interested, just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, y'all, so I have my table in front of me and it is filled with smell goods, okay? Now, in this video, I'm not gonna be sharing with you any shower products, layering with these because I mean, we will be here till tomorrow, okay? So because we don't have that type of time, because we are all booked and busy, I'm just keeping it to body creams and fragrances and a couple of oils sprinkled in here and there. But for the most part, it's really just body creams and fragrances. Oh, and body um, fragrance mist. So let's get started with the first one. So the first one is Lancome's Edol. Okay, you guys know, let me give you a little bit of the notes because I know somebody's gonna wanna know the notes, child. All right, so I don't have the notes to Edol, but this is a rose, hair, and vanilla fragrance. It's a fruity rose fragrance with a vanilla dry down. It's beautiful in my opinion. Now, what I layer with Edol, and y'all, this is damn near like a dupe. And I'm sure if you guys have Edol, you probably know this already, but You're the One by Bath & Body Works. I mean, it's damn near a dupe. You're the one has white birch, velvet rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. Now, there's no strawberry or anything like that in this fragrance, but when I tell y'all they're damn near identical, like they layer so beautifully together. And I also have the You're the One body cream. So start with the body cream, then go in with the body mist, get it all over your body, and then top it off with the spray. Y'all are gonna be smelling like Eat All literally all day, okay? So I have another fragrance that I layer with the You're the One combo, and it's by Tiziana Terenzi, and it's Cabiria, right? Cabiria. And I believe I told you guys before that this fragrance is very similar to my nose, in my opinion, to Edol, but just a very more complex, more sexy, more darker, more depth than Edol, but still a very playful and fun fragrance. So in Cabiria, we have green apples, melon, pear, mint, ambergris, jasmine, rose, vanilla, and cedar. Definitely, guys, these two are very similar. And you can layer the two together. If you wanted to layer Edol and Cabiria together, you could. But I'm telling y'all, You're the One by Bath & Body Works is damn near a dupe. And it pairs beautifully with this as well. Now, the next combo features Beverly Hurt Elixir. Y'all know I recently got this fragrance sometime over the summer i'm a her girl but i vowed that this is going to be my last flanker i don't care if Burberry comes out with another flanker of her the flanker could be she them they i don't care <laughs> i'm not getting it and this is my last flanker period although i absolutely love this i love the Burberry her original to me that smells more light and airy definitely more fruity more playful you can wear that in the day you can wear it to bed. To me, this is a more sexier, powderier version of Burberry Her. So in the elixir, we have strawberry, blackberry, jasmine, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. It's deeper, it's darker, it has more depth. It's so much more sexier in my opinion. And what I layer this with is the Beja Flor Body Cream by Sol de Janeiro and Strawberry Pound Cake go on with this first and then you spray the strawberry pound cake all over your body and then you spray this on top listen you're gonna be smelling good into next week okay screw smelling good all day you're gonna be smelling good all week when i tell you this combination does not go anywhere this body mist is actually very long lasting and when it's stuck on to this because it needs something to adhere to. So once you put it onto this, and this is gonna be on your skin, which already has oil on it, whether you wanna start in the shower with the oil or put the oil on your body once you're already dry, 
you're going to have this to stick onto the oil, this sticks onto this, and then this sticks onto this. When I tell you it's all layering and stacking the scents together, you are going to be smelling good for the entire day. You will not need to top off your fragrance and you're going to smell like a yummy strawberry gourmand dessert. It's so beautiful, y'all. I'm telling you. Bath & Body Works has... Um, fall in bloom that they came out with this season and it does smell very similar to Burberry Her. like it's damn near a dupe and I have that as well you guys saw in my vlog but for me I just like to add that gourmand yummy more edible more decadent touch to this fragrance so strawberry pound cake works perfectly for me but if you guys want to you can do fall in bloom you're gonna get kind of like similar the same scent but this adds a little bit more depth in my opinion and I love it so that's that combo. The next combo, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me talking about this, raving about this, y'all. Okay, so this is the New York Nights um, Body Cream by Bond Number no. 9. This is the bottle, the jar. It's so gorgeous. It's so heavy and so chic. Y'all, I don't know if Bond stepped up their uh, body cream game. But the creams are so much more potent in my opinion. Somebody told me they have the Greenwich Village cream and it's not that potent. So I guess it depends on the scent. But this My New York, or not My New York, this New York Nights body cream, y'all, it's so potent and smells so good. So this has coffee and caramel. There's also vanilla and white florals but it smells just like the fragrance. But if you don't have the fragrance, this is a good cream to have, like I said, because it has like a caramelly, sweet type scent, so it can go with a lot of your fragrances. Now, I paired it with Spiritueuse Double Vinny by Guerlain. Y'all, nobody in the entire New Jersey was smelling better than me that day. I can guarantee you that, okay? This combination right here is wicked good, okay, y'all? This and this is just a match made. Spiritueuse Double Vinny has rum. Let me see. It has pink pepper. It has rum. It has cedar. There's um, vanilla. There's benzoin. There's rose. Y'all, it's a very sexy, very um, potent, very intense vanilla fragrance. Oh, you listen. It's a spicy vanilla, like a spicy, boozy vanilla, but the vanilla is still very, very sweet and still very, very decadent. With this, I mean, you smell like a whole snack. Y'all, I'm still smelling myself, and I did this like two weeks ago. <laughs> All right, so my next combination that I wanna share with you guys features Bond Number no. 9 Tribeca, a newer fragrance in my collection that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's so beautiful. It is like very long lasting and um, it's potent, but you can definitely overspray this fragrance. It's not a beast mode fragrance. It's not going to, it's not a polarizing scent. Like you definitely can overspray, but you'll smell it on you the whole entire time. It's beautiful and it lasts very long on the skin. So this one has cacao, there's hazelnut, jasmine, cedar, caramel, ambroxan, and moss. Now, let me show you what I did with it the first time. So the first time ever, me wearing this fragrance, I did the Kiehl's Creme de Corps, Creme de Corps um, body cream. It has soy milk and honey. It's a whipped body butter. So this paired with the oil, it was perfect. This was my first day wearing this fragrance. I got a couple of compliments and it was beautiful. The fragrance was able to stand on its own. I was able to see what the fragrance was gonna do with nothing else, you know what I mean? Like no extra interference. But the second time I wore this, y'all, Midnight Amber Glow by Bath and Body Works. Nobody will be smelling better than you, trust me. So you have on your oil, then you're going to put this body cream on. The notes in this is um, smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. My skin was already oiled. I put this on top of my skin, and then I put this on top of the body cream. And then I went in with the fragrance. Y'all, this combination right here, if you love gourmand, if you love caramel, if you love sweet decadent, you will absolutely love this. But it's not overly sweet because it has like a cacao, like coffee type smell as well. Y'all, this is everything. Okay, so are y'all taking notes? Tribeca by Bond Number no. 9 
and Midnight Amber Glow by Bath & Body Works. This from Bath & Body Works is a winner. Honestly, guys, this season of Bath & Body Works um, New Scents, I'm here for all of them. So the next one I want to share with you guys, one of you guys suggested this to me. And when I tell you, I love y'all so much. <laughs> I mean, not just because you guys recommend things to me, but I feel like we have a community of people who just love smelling good. We love sharing with each other. It's so positive, so uplifting. And you guys are just like my ride or dies and I love y'all. So one of my subscribers suggested that I did Nomad by Bond Number no. 9. This is the Nomad Body Cream by Bond Number no. 9. And Vicanto, I really cannot pronounce this, but it's, I'm gonna put it on the screen, okay? This combination, I said, yo, my subbies are out here killing the streets, killing the game. Like, y'all really out here smelling like this? This right here was such a vibe, y'all. And when I tell you it lasted the entire time, when I went to go take a shower, it was still on me, projecting, smelling loud. I was living in my cloud. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I absolutely love it. This fragrance you can purchase from soavantgarde.com. You can save 20% using my discount code, thegreat20, and get this fragrance. It is a beautiful fragrance. It has ginger, it has rose, um, there's some fruity notes. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. There's no ambery, like musky, Tiziana Terenzi DNA dry down. It's a beautiful, clean, not like shower clean or smelling like soap or laundry. It's clean for somebody who likes beast mode loud fragrances. If you're someone who likes really soft, airy, light fragrances, I wouldn't suggest this to you. But if you're someone who likes loud, beast mode, gourmand, vanilla, smoky, this, that, and a third, but you wanna smell something that smells really good and has a lot of layers, but still kinda clean, you'll go for this one right here. It's so refined, it is beautiful. And paired with the Nomad Body Cream, chum. So the next fragrance that I paired with the Nomad Body Cream is by Liquidies Imaginaire, and it's Dom Rosa. Y'all, this fragrance right here has me in a chokehold right now. This is the most beautiful rose champagne. Listen, if you like boozy scents, but you're not gonna smell like, you're not gonna smell like you got into a bar fight, but you definitely smell the champagne. It smells like rose, like pink rose with rose. This is such a beautiful fragrance, y'all, and it dries down to a very soft, beautiful vanilla. This is incredible. And for some reason, it paired beautifully with the Nomad Body Cream. And this, like I said, has pear, it has oud, it has rose, but together, they just work. And this lasted on me the entire time. This has no issues in performance or longevity. It's not a super loud, roaring beast but it's definitely a loud fragrance and this body cream is on another level like if you have this you already know this is on another level it's very potent if you want to invest in a body cream that actually smells like loud <laughs> and you can actually smell it on you it smells like you're rubbing the fragrance all over you trust me when i tell you the nomad body cream is the one to have these two right here everything now this is a combination that i share with you guys in a vlog and I actually didn't like fully share it with you. So I started with my Skin Potions Royal Sandalwood Body Cream. Absolutely love this. If you love sandalwood, if you like woody scents, you need this. And it'll go with a lot of your fall and winter woody, smoky type fragrances. This with BDK Gris Charnel. It's perfect, y'all. Excellent. But because it was giving so much like woody and earthy like type vibes if you like this you can just do it on its own i wanted to add a little bit more sweetness to it so i just put a little bit of the madagascar vanilla by nest here here you know on my pulse points and it just gave it that sweetness that i actually was looking for especially for the daytime and then i did a couple of sprays of kaoli's vanilla 28. so this right here skin potion sandalwood royal sandalwood bdk gris charnel a little bit of Madagascar Vanilla by Nest and a splash of Vanilla 28. Y'all, I was smelling heavenly. I was smelling heavenly. In the daytime, I was smell. I was killing them, okay? Killing them in the daytime with my scent. So another combination that I did that I share with you guys in a vlog 
is also Kayali. So I started with this Hemp's Apple Cinnamon and Shortbread Body Cream. Now I have the body cream, then I went in with the body mist too with um, champagne, apple, and honey. And I do have the body cream to this, but for some reason, something told me to use this. And when I tell you, it was perfect. It was excellent. Like honestly, I wouldn't have bought the body cream to this if I would have known that this paired so beautifully with this because this is Bath and Body Works. This is Hems from Ulta. But like I said, the cinnamon um, apple shortbread, it's just perfect with this. So I started with this and then I went in with the fragrance mist and then I did Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple and Kaoli Vanilla 28. It was a whole spray fest up in here, okay? Like I sprayed this, then I sprayed this and this. Y'all, match made beautiful if you want to smell like a spicy apple pie but sweet like with caramel drizzle that's what you're going to smell like with this right here i'm telling you this is a winner very 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 sweet um layering combination if you love layering scents but like sweet and spicy at the same time like how a lot of you guys are <laughs> now y'all this combination right here like i need a moment I need a moment <sighs> y'all so i started off my body's all greased up right i'm not even gonna show you the fragrance yet i'm gonna show you the steps and then show you the fragrance last because this one right here was like oh girl like what like what did you create i started with pumpkin pecan waffles by bath and body works Listen, if you have this, let's talk about it. Because honestly, this has to be my favorite one from Bath & Body Works this season. I know I told y'all that Midnight Amber Glow is booming. And she is. I love this scent. But this one right here, the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This is the fragrance mist version to the House of Oud's What About Pop. Listen to me when I tell y'all. My nose is not broken, okay? My nose is perfectly fine. These two, this is damn near a dupe for What About Pop. If you can get this, get this not now, but right now, like get this yesterday, okay? And get a backup bottle of this because this is fire. If you love the scent of What About Pop by the House of Oud, you will absolutely love this. It smells like the body mist version of this. And this does not smell cheap. I'm telling y'all, I did not want to love it. I smelled it in the store and I was like, wait, what does this smell like? It's reminding me of something. Kept smelling it and then the light bulb went off. Like, hold up. Is this giving me What About Pop by the House of Oud? So I bought it, took it home and was like, it's probably not. Like, girl, you probably tripping. Smelled this. And smelt this. Like I sprayed um the spray on one hand, I sprayed what about pop on the other hand. Smelt them both and was like, are you freaking kidding me? Maple syrup, um, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Nothing like what the notes are in what about pop. This is a popcorn, like a salted popcorn caramel fragrance, and it smells very literal. Like it definitely, I always want to smell this. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason, it's just like I always just want to smell this. But um, this smells very literal, but it still smells like perfume in my opinion. But if you don't like the scent of popcorn or something like toasted and charred and salty and sweet, then you might not like this because this is a gourmand for gourmand lovers, okay? This is so beautiful, but I'm telling y'all, these two together, and then I layered it with the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. Y'all already know. Nobody was smelling better than me. Like, I don't even know how to put it into words. This combination right here is so freaking fire, okay? What about pop with pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath & Body Works? Y'all, it's a vibe. It's a moment. It is a winner, okay? It's so good. So, so good. I'm so glad I discovered that, y'all, because... I mean, this was just incredible. Like, I'm just like in awe of all of these combinations right now. Now, another one that's kind of like a dupe, in my opinion, 
is Fairy Tale by Bath & Body Works. This one right here. This is like a staple. It's always there with YSL's Libre Intense. It can possibly go with the regular Libre too, but I prefer it with the Intense. Honestly, like I wear the Intense more now that we're in the fall season because it has more vanilla. Mm, so good. These two together is a vibe. And you cannot forget to layer with your YSL body oil, okay? With your Libre body oil. These three are a vibe. And I'm gonna show you something else that I layer with my Libre body oil. And this is a new fragrance that has me in a chokehold. It's by Nishane, and it's Tempfluo. This one right here, y'all. This right here, y'all, I'm telling you, it's a more like creamy, woody, more complex version, in my opinion, of YSL Libre. They don't smell exactly alike whatsoever. But when I smelled this, it was putting me in the mind of something. And it put me in the mind of YSL Libre, but they do not. I repeat, they do not smell alike. But I feel like if you like one, you'll like the other. But it pairs beautifully with the Libre body oil. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, the combinations are just... Listen, it's crazy. I didn't do the spray with the temp um temp fluo because i just felt like i didn't need it i didn't really want it with this i you know i did it with the with the with the libre fragrance but i did an unscented body cream and this and sprayed this all over and i got my whole entire life now i have some more combinations to share with you guys but i don't want the video to be too long so if you want to see a part two Leave it in the comments below and let me know that you want a part two and I will get that out to you guys. So this is the end of the video. Let's talk about it in the comments below and let me know. Let's share some combinations, y'all. Like my subby that shared with me um, this combo right here with the Bond Number 9 Nomad. Thank you so much. Like this is so amazing. So let's continue to share with each other, guys. And like I said, let me know if you want to see a part two. Remember to stay safe. Be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.